Greetings everyone. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to send large files via email. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So these are the files we are trying to send. The file size is quite big, more than 600 MB. Anyway, in order to send these files, let's log into our Gmail. Enter your password. Now as you'd normally do, try and compose an email. With recipient's email, subject and message. And then you normally try to attach a file. Let me try to send a bigger file, that's the video file. So Google asks me if I want to send it via Google Drive as the attachment limit is only 25 MB. But sadly, I don't have much space on Google Drive either, so can't use it. So in such case, you can simply go to a website called wetransfer.com. So this website will allow you to send up to 2 ZBA files and absolutely free. Simply write your email address. You can write the receiver's mail here, but if you want to send an email from your personal account, you can write your own email. Since I am sending it to myself, I will leave the message. So now you have the option to select files or folders. You can simply drag files. Just drag it like this. Drag as much files as you want, not exceeding 2 GB. Or the other option is directly adding a folder. I will delete the earlier files. Simply click select folder. And then you can select the whole folder and upload. So drag or select folder anything you'd want. You can also zip the file and attach or else the size increases. Anyway, now click on transfer. So we transfer will send you a verification email. So we got the code. Let me add it here. And verify. And the file is being uploaded. Please note, any file sent via WeTransfer must be downloaded within 7 days. It will not stay in the inbox. The link will expire in 7 days and you won't be able to download it again. Anyway, so the files have been sent. The files have been sent to this address. So basically, the receiver will get an email and the sender will also receive an email. Let me minimize this. Since we use the same address, we got two emails. The receiver would see an email like this. As you can see, the email will be from WeTransfer. And the sender would receive an email like this. Now you can simply copy this download link, compose the email and add the download link and send the message. So when the person receives the email with this link, they can simply click on it and can easily download the files like this. However, again a reminder, please note that this download link will expire in 7 days. Hope this lesson was helpful to you. Thank you very much.